<laughs> How do you explain to people what it is you do if they do not play games, they just see people with their face glued to the screens of their small devices? Well, I think that companies like Glue and King and Zynga are very much entertainment for the next generation. Maybe your children more than yourself. But we're bringing effectively hours and hours of entertainment to people who don't have to pay. Uh, games like Kim Kardashian Hollywood have allowed Glue to drive, frankly, record profits. So since I was last in your show, we've announced our biggest quarterly profit ever. We've guided to have the biggest year in our entire 13-year history. But how do you make money if you don't actually charge the people to play the game? Well, we allow you to purchase what's called a microtransaction. So you can buy a dollar here, five dollars there. Usually you're buying an in-game currency or you're buying an in-game accessory. And you can use that. So like for a Kim Kardashian game, you get right. to buy a handbag or you get to buy shoes or clothing or something Let's like that to dress Kim Kardashian as she kind of goes through this virtual red carpet world. You know, you're dressing your own character and she's mentoring you through the world. You can also buy things like more energy, more health, more stamina. It allows you to progress more quickly. Can you do that as a company? How do you acquire the health and stamina to keep going in a hit-driven business? I know you've got Deer Hunter 2014. It's hunter be hunted in this kind of world, isn't it? It is, but our strategy is to be a diversified portfolio. So Kim's game made a lot of revenue for us in Q3. What was it, like 52, 54 percent? Yeah, something like that for Q3. But if you look at the whole year, that only works out to maybe 20, 25 percent of revenue for the year. Contract Killer Sniper is launching in Q4. It will probably have a disproportionate impact on Q4. Smaller impact for the whole year. So we launch a dozen games a year. Hits are really good news for Glue on the bottom line. We demonstrate a lot of operating leverage. Same for King and Zynga. But in the long run, just like with a movie studio or a Disney, it's about building franchises. And that's what we're really focused on as a company. Do you think you're going to do that with the, uh, what is it, Contract uh, Killer Sniper? Is that the franchise that you're putting that some hopes is, in? That is the third release in the Contract Killer sequence. It's done about 110 million installs as a franchise overall. Deer Hunter 2014 has done 120 million installs just in the last 12 and a half months. So some of our games are, of course, bigger than others, but in the long term, the market's still going to triple in terms of the number of people that get smartphones. And we think that we can grow half a dozen to a dozen franchises for the next 10 years. Do you have to pay a company like Facebook in order to get them to make your games available on the Facebook platform? No, not at all. So all of them ultimately are, of course, taking a revenue share from those microtransactions we talked about. Apple and Google keep about 30 percent. Blue keeps the rest. We are also allowed to run advertising. So Glue makes about 20% of our revenue from advertising on top of the microtransactions on all platforms.